All my life I've traversed the skies, hopping from city to city, exploring the myriad airlines Nigeria has to offer. Yet, in a serendipitous realization just a few weeks ago, it dawned on me I had never set foot on a train before. Never. Thus, determined to rectify this glaring omission, I embarked on an expenditure to the Lagos Ibadan train station. This bustling up serves as a vital artery, connecting various points of interest along East Route, including Samuel Ladoke Akintola Station, Omi Adio, Woleshon Inka Station, Babatunde Raji Fashola Station, Agege, before reaching Mobolade Johnson Station, Alagomichi. However, if you are going to Ibadan from Lagos, then the stops will be the other way around. The Lagos Ibadan train service, which began full operation on June 15, 2021, runs four trips in a day. On weekdays and Saturdays, there are two trips, one in the morning departing at 8 a.m. and an afternoon trip departing at 4 p.m. On Sundays, the schedule is the same with a morning departure at 8 a.m. and an afternoon departure at 4 p.m. from Mobolaji Johnson Station in Alagomich, Lagos. Stepping foot into the Lagos station, I was immediately struck by its grandeur and functionality. There was enough parking space and it was giving some airport vibes. Ticket prices vary depending on the class, ranging from 6,000 for first class, 4,500 for business class, to 3,000 for standard class. However, it's important to note that additional online charges apply. I quickly made payments online because they don't collect cash at the ticket terminal anymore. After booking your ticket, you can proceed to the waiting hall to wait for the train. Unlike an aircraft where you have to weigh your luggage before boarding, I didn't see any skill at the terminal to weigh luggage, although I never had any luggage, so I proceeded with my boarding. The officials had a machine at the entrance to scan the barcode on our e-tickets. At this point, escorts are not allowed beyond these gates. A careful study of the station will show that the maintenance level is high. The station's meticulous upkeep was evident at every turn, from the pristine escalators to the immaculate restrooms. The restrooms was properly cleaned and maintained. Of course, when a restroom is neat, who wouldn't want to take selfies in the mirror? Few minutes after I got into the restroom, our train arrived with a loud horn. It was time for boarding. I hurriedly made my way to the boarding gate and showed my e-ticket and made my way into the train. Just like an aircraft, trains have similar sitting patterns and the seats are selected during the booking process. The officials directed us according to our sitting class and coach. There are three classes and five coaches. Mine was a standard class and first coach. The train itself was neat and chilled. It's necessary to dress properly when traveling with the Lagos Ibadan train because the ACs can be cold and is not adjustable like that of an aircraft. The maintenance in the train is commendable. There are sockets in every seat to charge your devices and overhead rack on top of every seat to keep your luggage. The seats were spacious enough to relax and stretch leg. The journey promised both convenience and relaxation. There was a mini TV where they showed a movie without sound, but I wasn't bothered because I had my earpods plugged in my ear already. One thing I love about train is the adherence to time. Our train was meant to take off by 8 a.m. and by 7.45 we were already seated and ready to move. The officials made announcements from time to time about the stops and updates in the Nigerian train. The announcements are made in Yoruba and English. Unlike the stringent regulations aboard the Lagos Blue Line, eating and drinking were permitted on board, with vendors offering an array of refreshments throughout the journey. However, the prices might be a little bit high, just some heads up. I visited the restroom and it was spacious enough to compare to that of an aircraft that is usually so uncomfortable and small. Aside in size, it was neat as well. One of the things I didn't like about the train was the fact that it was slow and stopped at different points. All my life, I've always assumed that the train is very fast, but to my greatest surprise, this particular train was slow. Throughout the journey, I wish that the speed could increase, but it never happened. The timing in the train is strictly adhered to. Every stop had 5 minutes for the passengers to board and disembark, as the case may be. Note, the officials will always request for your e-tickets during the journey, so don't delete it until you have gotten to your final destination. We arrived at Badon a few minutes after 10, as originally planned by the train corporation. There were bikes, cabs and buses ready to convey passengers to their final destinations. I opted for the local BRT which costs about 500 naira. What is a trip to Ibadan without China Mala? I quickly made my way to Ultima restaurant, Bodija. But unfortunately, they didn't have Amala at that time. So I decided to go to Abula, located in Oluyole. Hi guys, welcome back to this video. It's your boy Abundi of Lagos. I am still in Ibadan. And yeah, come on. 
I said to Peter Mala, what's an Ibadan trip to Katan and Mala? Ha ha, all wrong now, all wrong. So I'm here to Peter Mala, I'm right in up to my restaurant. I don't know what it's gonna be like, but yeah, come along, let's do this with you. Let's eat your Mala together. <laughs> Keep watching this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share this with somebody, and you know what? Drop a comment. I'll see you guys. Bye. Somebody's got you all over The abula was not giving enough but smelled really good. On a scale of 10, I will rate it a 6. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I guess this is the best time to do just that. Please ensure to subscribe, like this video, share it to a friend to encourage me to create more content and feel free to ask me questions in the comments. As the return journey beckoned, I have bid farewell to Ibadan and boarded the train once more, this time from the Obafemi Awolowo station. Despite its smaller stature, the station mirrored its Lagos counterpart in efficiency and functionality, serving as a testament to the success of this transformative endeavor, although most of the stations looked similar but different in sizes. In summary, I enjoyed my adventure with the train and I must commend the government for this wonderful development. Will I recommend this station to my friends? Yes, it's absolutely worth it and very affordable. Thank you guys for traveling with me. Don't forget to share and subscribe for more. Keep spreading positivity. Until next time, see you guys. Bye. I am a Bondi of Lagos. Bye again. Bye. Like this video and share it with somebody out there. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!